All right, so today we're gonna to be building a manifold here. Okay, and what a manifold is, is it's going to be, it's gonna connect all three of my, my valves. So we're, this is the main line coming in right here. Okay, so I'm gonna come up and there's gonna be a T here, a T here, and a T here. And what I'm gonna do is leave a little space. Uh, so if we add a fourth zone, we're, we're able to. So this is step one. This is the water supply line coming in. So what I did with this screwdriver is I put the box in the ground so I know exactly the height. I want the box about this high, okay? Um, so I put the screwdriver in and that is going to give me my height. So when I build this, I wanna, that pipe needs to be right on top of that screwdriver and then I know I'm in perfect height of where I need to be. So let's get this started. So look, I'm holding this up with my foot. So this is pretty much the level that I need it. But as you can see, I have that in there. That's the first valve is gonna hook up there, but we, we need three. So it's gonna be one here, one here, and one here. So there's enough space in here, okay? So um, what we did here, got into the main line, came up. So when you make your manifold here, if you can leave yourself room right here because if one of these valves happens to not work or you need to switch it or just something down the line for maintenance purposes if you have this all the way here you're gonna have to dig out and cut to replace all of this meanwhile you do it this way you can cut here and you still have enough room to fit a fitting on there uh, either a cup link or another T it doesn't really matter so leave yourself some room. All right, here we go. So we got the main water supply coming in. Okay, this is gonna be for one of the zones. Zone number two, zone number three. And what I did over here, this is just a cup link with a cap inside there. Um, if we do add a fourth zone, which we might, I just cut right there. We could slide another one on or I can go down with it. You can add another valve. But that's how you do it right there, okay? So now we're going to install these valves and connect them to these lines right here. Stay tuned. We're gonna install these three valves. Okay, so we're gonna need them. We have nipples. So the valves come in two different ways. They come where it's a thread inside there or it's a slip where you gotta glue it. So this is thread. I always like using the thread. Um, so you just screw the nipple in. Always use this awesome blue monster okay it's not a glue it just seals the thread so it's really good when you screw this in just to get an extra seal now when important thing to note is you don't need any tools for this i don't ever really uh, take a wrench and, and tighten this because these are plastic you just snug it up as much as you can with your hands maybe a little bit with the wrench or channel locks but you really don't need too much so let's go ahead and build this all right, so let's build this first manifold here. We're gonna put a valve in. All right, so this is what we're gonna be doing. So when you do install these, okay, the solenoid, okay, this is the solenoid, always faces out. So the water puts through here, there's all, usually there's a little arrow. I don't know if you could see that one or not, but there's an arrow. So we're gonna put it in this way facing out and then we're gonna 90 down and connect it. So all three of those are gonna fit in there. There's enough room in between. So this blue monster, just gab it on here. Again, like this is not glue. It doesn't get too hard. It doesn't lock anything in, but it seals, it seals it. So it's good to use. Okay. That's as tight as I get it. I don't go any farther. You don't want to crack this, then you know you're out of valve. You gotta go get another one, or it could be a mess. So in this case, I want to have maybe an inch and a half, two inches. So um, I'll give myself a little room. Get my pen. I always like marking it because when you use your finger, sometimes you just it moves and it's just easier. So 
I like making sure all of these line up straight. So I take a little bit of time and pride in getting this done. So what I'm gonna do is mark this right here. All right, so this is gonna give me a nice little room here. I'll have the same amount of room over there. And um, we'll see, I'll show you. Another important tip, okay, I just cut this, and as you can see, all these little pieces, you want to take those off, because what happens is, once you put water through here, it's going to push all those little particles through here, and you don't want this holding up the diaphragm that's in there, because it just goes up and down, and it kind of, you know, you need that clean, so take a little bit of time, I, I take a little file, you can use your hand, but I've gotten cut, so just be careful when you do that. So that's it, okay? Here's another thing you can do. Again, take your time. If you're in a rush, then you know, you're gonna screw things up. So for me, I just take a little bit of time. I mark right here. That's the center mark. And on the valve itself, here's the arrow. Okay, I don't know if you can see that or not. But I'm gonna draw a line, just right running with that arrow. So when I glue this up, these two lines are going to be straight. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow me, it's gonna tell me that these are straight without me having to look. So sometimes when you're sitting in a little spot or you're in a tight area you think it's straight and you get there and it's not again it's not the end of the world if it's not but if you are like me take pride in it take pride in what you do you know it's my name i'm a tiger i'm a sticker for my phone number so years down the line someone buys his house or has to look at it or stickers aren't working they're gonna see there okay as you can see, there's the lines. So I like to take time. You can see I did it all the way here because I like having those straight and those level. I mean, it's a little bit, a couple extra seconds, but that's it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the rest of those and then we're gonna start connecting them. So let's get this done. All right, another trick here, guys, because sometimes it can get confusing because I have designated zone one, zone two, and zone three. As I know zone three, this goes all the way around the house to the backyard, okay? And I need to make sure that these pipes line up. So now I have zone three, zone two, zone one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here. Is these are not glued in. When I did all the digging and put all the trenching down and the pipes in the ground, I left these open. I just put them there so when I get to this point, um, I could just cut it all off and start over. So this is zone one and that's zone one. So what we're gonna do is just connect one by one as I build this. There's no specific way to do this, no right or no wrong, as long as you have that valve in the right way with the solenoid. Again, this part right here, that little thing, that twist off. So if you're ever at your, your house and zone number one is not coming on, Check this solenoid. You can get those anywhere. They're 24 volt. Just make sure that it fits in there and you can replace that. We'll get into that when we do maintenance, but. All right, here we go. So we have zone number one hooked up. Okay. Just 90 down. This actually goes to two sprinkler heads this way. Okay, I just put the funny pipe all the way in directly there. Simple, very easy, okay. Now the reason I am going down is because I have a irrigation valve box that's gonna go on top of this. And if I go straight with the pipe, that means I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut the box to fit that on there. So I might as well just go over and you know bring it down so then that box can sit flush to the ground and not have to put any weight on the, uh, the pipe itself because you never really wanna do that because this might be an area where someone walks or whatever. But uh, that's on number one. So now we're gonna hook up number two and number three right over here. We're gonna do it the same way. We're gonna go down. I've already measured, so this box does fit right there.
perfectly. So let's get this done and we can put the box on. All right, zone number two, done. So let's get this last one in. And we're gonna run the conduit for the wire. That's it. It's not that hard, just take your time. I'm telling you, you always have to have a manifold. Okay, it can go any way it wants. I could have came this way, but you remember the valves always have to go. So wherever your connections are here, they could be run over this way. But for me, that was the easiest way to do it. Wire coming out, this goes to the timer, the controller that's all the way around the house. So we had to dig that up and so the controller is there so what we'll do next is get that irrigation box in and then we'll hook everything up because i don't like uh, having the wires exposed and we're throwing dirt in just makes it look cleaner but that's it that's how it should be done all right so this is what it should look like all right let's just reiterate we have the main line coming in okay this a great conduit coming up here with this wire that is the master valve that is over here in that box okay and that acts as also acts as our um, backflow device. So it's kind of required. So a lot of people don't put those in, but it's just one little extra step, but it's very important. Okay, so here we go, right? We got the box in place. Always make sure it's level. I, you know, sometimes you eyeball it, then you take it out, and you'll see, you step back. See, that's good. That's good. I always get the corner. That's good. Let's make it level. It's the small little details. Separate. All right, cool. There we go. So now that we have this all leveled, um, I'm not going to keep it dirt in there. I'm not going to add more dirt. As you can see, it still needs to be filled up. You know, dirt's gonna go all the way up to here, but I don't want dirt inside here. Just for maintenance purposes, this is only 24 volts, so don't worry, there's no electric that is going to affect anything if it gets wet, so it's made for that. But now I'm gonna put some river, river pebbles. Throw those in the bottom over there, and you'll see the difference. It just looks cleaner. Again, man, just trying to separate myself. No one does it like TJ, your sprinkler guy. Right, here's a little pointer right so what i did was uh, these boxes come like kind of pre cut out to have a pipe run through it you can kind of see it in there so i had a cut you can make revisions to it so i cut this corner out to fit this pipe just so i wanted to make sure that all of this was inside the box so i just filled that so fill these holes okay there we go that's it filled it up with rocks this is nice and secure. I still got a lot of dirt to put in, but it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. There's plenty of rock, so if it fills up with water, there's some drainage on there. That's it. So this is this is the wire that's coming from the timer, and this one is going to the master valve. So what we'll do is we'll hook all three of these up, connect that tomorrow. So that's it. Let's fill this in and. We can get out of here. Enjoy the new year. There we go, guys. This is our master valve backflow. Down here are our three valves that go to all three zones. This is a little higher as it needs to be. But we're going to fill that in with mulch, so it won't be an issue. 